everyone. Okay, so let's assume that you figured out how to make a great product, your SEO is fine, and everything generally looks pretty good. How can you stand out from your competitors? The problem with any e-commerce platform is generally you might be selling a product that looks almost identical to every product around it on the page. If you don't think that it does, do a blind test. Ask a stranger which product looks the best on the page and see if they pick your product from the page. If they don't, you likely need to work on a few things. Let's go over a few tips. Unlike other e-commerce gurus, I don't like running out of the gate saying focus on photography because yes, photography is important, but it's always secondary to SEO. But assuming you have SEO figured out, what's next? Photography. Now this video is not a tutorial on photography because that will be a much more in-depth video and I like to keep my videos simple for you guys, but I promise that I'll get back to it later. Um, but I will go over the basics today and at least give you something to practice with the equipment that you already are using. Um, and this could just be your iPhone in the sun. <laughs> first things first, if you ask the best photographer in the world, how do I take better photos? Which of these do you think he will say? A, buy better equipment, or B, learn better photography. <laughs> if you guessed B, you are correct. Now, if you gave the most expensive camera in the world to an amateur and the shittiest camera in the world to the best photographer in the world, who do you think will take the better picture? If you guess the best photographer, you are absolutely correct. <laughs> All right, so if you're familiar with my brand and my products, um, Ring Crush, you can see my style of photography on ringcrush.com and on my Amazon and Etsy page. I did take every single picture myself. Um, I'm very proud of that. The single greatest investment that I made in my career was teaching myself photography. Not all of my pictures are 100% the best, but I will say I am very proud of them. Some of them I took with no equipment at all. Um, with my iPhone and I never changed the photo even today because I have made a lot of money, even thousands of dollars from those listings. So why mess with success, right? <laughs> um, yes, I do have better control with nicer equipment, but it isn't really necessary. So enough talking, let's get to the meat of the video or jackfruit if you are a vegan. <laughs> um, okay, so some companies like Amazon will give you rules like you must use a white background to sell on Amazon. Now, this doesn't apply to Amazon Handmade, but we can discuss that in the comments if you want. <laughs> but for Etsy, there are no rules like this. So you can kind of like do whatever you want. Um, some gurus will tell you to use a white background anyways because there are some old studies that say the conversion rate is higher. I will say this isn't always true advice that you should follow. I would do the exact opposite of what the majority of your competitors are doing. The reason is you want to stand out on a page. You want to stand out in the crowd. Think about it this way. If there are a hundred people wearing a black t-shirt, you want to be the person wearing the pink t-shirt, right? Um, so the same thing goes. If no one in your niche uses a white background, you should consider using a white background, obviously. But if everyone's using a white background, you are not going to stand out. So you might want to use a bright color or a black background or something like that. This is just basic design that I learned in college. Okay, so let's use a highly saturated niche as an example. I am using Etsy as an example today, but this applies to eBay, any other e-commerce platform. You can translate it and do your own studies if you want. Um, so let's get started. If you type in teddy bear into Etsy, you will notice, at least for me, Almost no teddy bear examples come up with a clean, crisp, white background. In fact, almost all of these are super busy, have multiple bears, and are frankly, they have just way too much going on. If you want to stand out, you need a clean, simple composition with a lot of negative space around your bear. And you want to be the first thing that the eye is drawn to on the page, and consequently, the first thing that is clicked. This is gonna increase your click-through rate, which will also increase your page rank. Next example that I have is bar necklace. Okay, there's about three compositions that I can count, three, and two designs, and a hundred shops. This is like, so not creative. I don't even know where to click, and most customers probably don't know where to click either. 
I don't even know if you can use photography to stand out in this niche. I think this is a niche that would be a poor example trying to use photography as a competitive advantage. So it's just, I don't know, it's just way too oversaturated. Um, I'm not even going to, I mean, maybe you could do something crazy to be competitive here, but I don't think so. So we're going to move on. Um, I'll stick in the jewelry category just um, for you jewelry folks. So let's move on to something similar. Let's go to tie bar. Okay, this one's interesting because I see a lot of white and busy. This means white backgrounds and the composition is too busy. I would clean up the composition, meaning make it more simple, maybe one tie bar, and switch to perhaps a black or a bright color background to really stand out. Okay, and finally, last but not least, as you may have noticed, almost everyone on Etsy focuses on black or white. Why? Because it's easy. I want to show you something. Etsy loves to feature color and great composition, but mostly color. Find some complimentary accessories like flowers or cute little things that might complement your product to help frame the picture, and you will greatly increase the odds of getting featured, which is the key to dramatically growing your following. Check out Etsy's Instagram to see what their editor loves and use this for your inspiration to help brighten up your own Etsy page and your own Instagram. Remember, color is fun and I promise your followers are gonna love it. Also, today I'm running a special. If you subscribe, I'm gonna feed my ducks some special treats tonight. <laughs> if you don't, they're gonna get boring duck food, so don't be mean. All right, bye. <laughs>